Right, okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be going through the web authoring task of the 2017 paper. I'm just going to scroll down to the actual task itself. Um, activity four, I think, here we go. Web authoring software, suggested time 30 minutes. Okay, so uh, let's just get on with this. Um, it goes on to say, Outgrove Park Ramblers had the website that includes information about the activities of the group. The homepage of the website is index.html. Leonie wants to add a section about the walking holiday to the website. The pages or the web pages in the new section will be saved as schedule, wildlife and landmark. The three new pages must be based on this design. So you're, going, you're going to be creating uh, three pages, schedule, wildlife and landmark. And we need to design it like this. Um, use the logo and other suitable images from the images folder. So that's here. And we've got a few logos, uh, sorry, you've got one logo and a couple of images here. Uh, let me just change the view to large icons, here we go. So we've got the logo there and then we've got a couple of other images that we need to decide um, uh, will be suitable for schedule, wildlife and landmark. And the text for the web pages is stored in a file called Pembroke. Let's go back here, Pembroke, here we go. <clears throat> And then reading this information will give you clues or an idea or as to which image would be best suited for the schedule page, the wildlife page and the landmarks page. OK, and then it goes ahead and just says create the web pages using the layout shown in the design, create the web page about the schedule holiday and save it as schedule and then wildlife and save it as wildlife and so on. Right. OK, so um, the sensible thing to do first is to make a folder where all of your files for the web page uh, will be saved. OK, so the first thing that I'm going to do just for now, I'm going to put it on my desktop, but you put it wherever it needs to go, and that's sensible. And I'm just going to call this uh, website. Sorry. Oops, wrong way, wrong button. Uh, website, lovely. And all my files are going to be going in there. Okay. Um, I'm also going to just point out um, that you, you can actually go ahead and choose your images that you're going to be using or image that you're going to be choosing for the schedule page now, same with wildlife and landmarks, and then it saves you from, um, you know, perhaps linking to the image in the wrong folder or whatever or doing it later. So you can actually go ahead and do it now, but let me just start the page in Dreamweaver. That's what we're going to be using um, to make web pages, um, and, and then I'll do it in a bit. Okay, so we go to File, New. And then I'm just going to click uh, the template um, blank HTML because uh, I just want to show you how to um, do it from scratch. OK, so let's go ahead and start this layout. OK, so uh, this is the table layout and you can see here that we've got one, two, like three rows where two rows or two cells from the first column have been merged. And then you've got some merging going on here as well. So the, the largest number of rows and columns that we need is three, because we've got one, two, three maximum, one, two, three maximum. So we're going to insert a table, which is three by three. So let's do that first. So insert table, three rows by three columns. Table width, by default, it's about 200 or whatever. Take it to 800 and leave the border thickness at one for now. And then just click OK. So this is what appears when, as soon as you insert the table. OK, uh, we're going to change the alignment to center. So it's in the center. If for whatever reason you clicked away, your table wasn't selected and therefore you couldn't see the center option or the align option uh, there, you just uh, click like in this gray area here and then or, you know, just underneath here. And then it allows you to actually go ahead and change the alignment. All right, that's done. Let's actually go ahead and do our merging now. So we need the logo to go in the top left cell. So the logo is going to be here. And then Outgrove Park Ramblers is going to be like a main title, and that's going to span across two cells that are merged. So let's go ahead and merge. So you highlight two cells together, right click, go to table, and then merge. We're going to do the same for page title. So highlight the cells, right click, and then merge again. And then we're going to merge uh, the two cells that are uh, currently in the area of the link. So highlight these two cells here. So first row, and then the, sorry, first column, and the second and third row will be merged into just uh, to just be like a second row. So we merge cells there. Lovely. OK, so that's our basic layout. Obviously, it looks obviously squished at the moment because we haven't put any content in, but we'll do that in a second. Um, OK, so I've just put in the um, table. Now I need to go ahead and start putting in the logo, the Outgrowth Park Ramblers title, the page title. So we're starting off with schedule and we're going to take it from there. 
just in case I forget to do it later, I'm going to go ahead and save the page now. So you go to File, Save As. This is going to be a HTML page that we're going to save in the folder which you created, website. And we're going to make sure it's got the proper name for it. So, um, so reschedule. You don't need to add .html as the extension. It's already going to be saved as a .html file, so you can just leave it as schedule. So remember to be saving it where all your other web pages and images for your web pages will be saved. So let's just put it there for now. Lovely. Okay. Um, Right, the first thing that I'm going to do is put in the logo. Now, I'm going to make sure that my folder, my website folder, has the images um, that will be used for my schedule page, my wildlife page, and my landmark page. The first image that needs to go in is logo. Uh, normally, you would, when you do websites, you would have a separate folder called images, and you're going to put the images in there. But for now, I'm just going to leave them all out here, all in one like root folder, if you like. Okay, so let's have a look at the images folder. What do we have? So we've got logo, we need that. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in there. There we go. Then it says, uh, uh, obviously, you need to choose suitable images for the other pages. So let's go and have a look at what um, the text is for the schedule page. And then we can figure out what image we need. So we've got here schedule information. So it's got the days and then what walks are happening on each of the days. So something to do with walking or a group of people walking. This is not uh, a logo that you're creating, so you don't need to go for like a standard basic vector image. Um, it, you're better off for a website going for a color image or a photograph that's quite realistic. So I'm going to go for the group image. And I'm going to put that there. Uh, the wildlife information, it has information here about, okay, Coast National Park, a varied habitat, supports a large number of species. There's a horseshoe bat, birds, barn owl. Uh, gray seal colonies and so on. So anything to do with animals here? Yes, we've got seals. So let's take that. That can be for the second page. And then the last page talks about historical landmarks, cliffs, arches, castles, Karoo Castle and so on. OK, so for now, uh, I'm just going to take this image here, Karoo Castle. Um, normally in the exam, you work through the tasks in order. Um, so this is obviously task four. Uh, you, you should have worked through task one, two, and three, obviously, before you get onto this task. The reason why I'm saying this now is because I know here you can see it says, create the web page about landmarks and include the image castle that you saved uh, in part A of task AD2. So obviously, this Karoo image was used in another task to, and it was edited. And that is the image that you would put into landmarks. But for now, I'm just going to put Karoo in um, because I haven't done the other task Um and we're just focusing on this anyway. Right, so all my images are there. You can see because they've got the icon uh, for images. And then my web page, you can see, is it has the icon for whatever browser, uh, default browser is um, used for viewing web pages. Okay, so that's that. I've got all my images ready. So now I can go back to Dreamweaver and go ahead and insert my logo here in the top left cell. So you go ahead and you go to Insert Image. And then you make sure you've got the right folder selector. So just double check Desktop for me and then website, and it's the logo, and then you click OK. This dialog box then comes up. Just put in some helpful text, which kind of describes the um, image that's about to be loaded. Uh, it's quite helpful to have that, so just click OK, and there you go. That's obviously quite large. Um, I want to downsize that. There's a couple of ways you can downsize. You can either click, uh, click and drag here, um, remember to do it diagonally, but sometimes when you do that, you might distort the proportions and you might mess it up. So it's better to go here where you can see the uh, image properties. Make sure you click on the padlock to lock the um, ratio, if you like, uh, so that when you downsize, uh, say if we go down to 150, oops, my number lost. If you go to 150, it will actually automatically downsize the height as well uh, in proportion. So that seems fine. That's OK. I'm just going to take this in here. Uh, there we go. So it's suitably sized. So now I can carry on. OK, so where are we up to now? Let me see how much time. 8.40. OK, carry on. Okay. Right. So uh, I've done the logo. Now I need to do this title. So Outgrowth Park Ramblers. So let's go ahead and type that. There we go. Uh, the page title will be whatever the page name is. It's Schedule. So let's just go ahead and type that. Here we go. Um, you're going to have some text content here on the left side and a suitable image on the right side. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste that in and then we can finalize and format it later. So let's go ahead and take this information, copy that, paste it in. There we go. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see what it's done. Lovely. OK, and here will be the image that I've chosen for my schedule page. And that was uh, the group image, wasn't it? So insert image and then group. Remember to put in uh, some helpful text. So I'm just going to write here group of walkers. 
Here we go. Uh, again, that's quite large, so I'm going to downsize that. Make sure the toggle uh, size constraint is on, and let's just take that down to something suitable. Uh, maybe a bit bigger than that. Let's take it to 250. There we go. And then you can just resize the column so it's suitable. There we go. I think if you actually clicked away, it would have automatically done it. But anyways, there you go. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. And then here, what we're going to have, it says here, links to home, uh, to home page, sorry, and pages in this section. What's the home page? The home page is index.html. We're not actually going to make HTML in this example, but we will have text here which shows that this would have gone um, to um, another page, and that would have been the home page. So let's just put in the names of the other pages. Uh, it says all three pages, so we actually do include the schedule uh, link. And yes, so that means this page will be linking to itself, and that's absolutely fine. And then we've got uh, wildlife, and then we've got landmarks. There we go. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that. There we go. So that's all I've done so far. Okay. Um, right. So all I have done is I've put in the basic content. I'm just going to press save. Obviously, it needs a bit of formatting, doesn't it? It doesn't look very neat. And, you know, I might need to think about how much you're going to um, display this. This might not be the most user-friendly way to do this. So in the next video, I'm going to go into actually styling and changing the look of this web page so it looks a bit more suitable.